How are you, everybody? Welcome to the first episode of the new podcast by Unlimited Vacation Club, Cruising the UVC World. My name is Carlos Garcia, and I will be one of your hosts during this first episode and the rest of the first season of this very, very special broadcast that brings all the best from the different destinations that the AMR collection brings and offers to all of us and Unlimited Vacation Club members. Uh, I'm very delighted to uh, present our second host, of course, and, the, and a very special uh, person for us as uh, marketing and social media teams. Um, I am introducing Mike Osuna, our Corporate Marketing Communication Director. Welcome, Mike. It's a pleasure to present you. Well, thank you, Charlie. I am very thrilled of um, being part of this project. Uh, since you started uh, proposing it, I always thought it was a great idea for the social media team to have this great uh, podcast and um, really happy to um, announce this first one. And this is going to be very interesting as we go along because we're going to discover the UBC world and we're going to go through locations starting in Los Cabos in this time. So uh, I am very thrilled to participate. Thank you very much, Charlie. Let's, let's go. And thank you so much for supporting all these crazy and fun ideas that we have always to our, for, for offering to our members. And of course, uh, we explained that we're going to have different destinations throughout the season. We're going to start today with Los Cabos, one of the hottest destinations by the AMR collection. And we are so excited to start talking about it and introduce some of the uh, different guests that we have for uh, this episode. Let me tell you, Mike, uh, that Los Cabos uh, is a very hot destination located in the western part of Mexico and sitting at the most southern point of the Baja California Peninsula. Uh, as you know, uh, Los Cabos lies in the geographic region that has a dynamic mix of desert landscapes, mountainous areas, and astonishing beaches that stretch along the Sea of Cortez. It's a very well-known area by many of our members by being home of the famous Arch, a marvelous stone formation that has undoubtedly become an icon of Los Cabos and all of Mexico. Definitely everyone who's been in, in Los Cabos knows all of this information that it, actually it brings, you know, so many memories uh, for our members. A visit to the Arch is a must every time you go to Los Cabos. It is located at the exact point where the Sea of Cortez meets the Pacific Ocean, right? Yeah, you know, one, one thing that I love about Los Cabos is that every time that I go there, uh, you always seem to have a, a, like a sense of I'm coming back to this place, you know? It's always nice to go back and like for those who are interested in adventure, one must see is the underwater sand falls. These are located by the Bay of uh, Cabo San Lucas. And it's an impressive phenomenon generated by the constant movement of the tides. The waves and sand production results in an out of this world spectacle that's about 32 yards deep. To be able to see this natural attraction, you must be a certified and licensed diver who has done previous dives before, but you know, diving in Los Cabos you know, in the Sea of Cortez, you must also see this, this uh, waterfalls of sand that are amazing. And that is not the only thing that you can see in the depths of the ocean. How about living a once in the lifetime experience, enjoying a white shark, diving tour in the Guadalupe Island, which is located only 150 miles off the coast of Baja California. What makes this special island so uh, beautiful uh, is that unlike the other places where you can see white sharks like in South Africa and Australia, this Guadalupe Island is the only one that has the right conditions with really clear and blue waters that permit you to see white sharks constantly and with great visibility. Uh, definitely a must see. Well, in Los Cabos, there are hundreds of ways to enjoy the marine life, such as snorkel, deep sea fishing, and even a sailing day with luxury boats and yachts that en enables us to meet Los Cabos ocean with unique style. Each of these activities that I have just mentioned are available in Amstar and you can request them directly from our UBC portal uh, by lodging and with your access as a member 
or even at the resort uh, at the Amstar desk by the lobby. Here we are with the fun facts of Los Cabos. Let's introduce this first part because Mike, definitely there's some fun facts that our members would like to know uh, and would like to experience, you know, actually physically. Los Cabos has a countless number of wonders and certainly has earned the nickname of the Aquarium of the World. The famous French explorer Jacques Cousteau first gave this name to the Sea of Cortez, referring specifically to the Cabo Pulmo Marine Reserve as Cousteau was mesmerized by the variety of different ecosystems he found there. Because of this, the local residents are fully interested in maintaining extreme care of their beaches and seas. Did you know actually that Los Cabos has a total of 22 blue flag beaches, Mike? A special certification awarded by the Foundation of Environmental Education to Beaches, Marinas and Sustainable Boat Tour Operators. Well, that is amazing. I didn't know about so many blue flag beaches, but that sounds really great. Now, Los Cabos not only stands out for the quality of the beaches, but also for the quality of its golf courses. The city is the main venue for golf championships in Latin America, with 18 exclusive courses designed by renowned players such as Jack Nicklaus and Tiger Woods. Imagine that. Golf Digest magazine published that, yeah, one of the 16 best golf courses in Mexico, 12 are located in Los Cabos, and four of them are uh, ranked among the 100 best in the world. So definitely Cabo is uh, golf, fishing, and ocean, amazing. Well, AM Resource has three properties in this area, and each of these has its own touch of luxury, entertainment, and relaxation. And remember that as a member, you can enjoy from a 25% discount in your reservation. So let's talk about a little about these different resorts that we have there. Breadless Cabos and Lucas Resort and Spa is within a distance of 35 minutes of Los Cabos International Airport and is perfectly situated on the Medano Beach. That offers an exceptional, stunning marina view on each of its 169 contemporary suites divided between Allure Suites and for those who want to live a completely VIP experience there are the Excel Club Suites, which has access to a private lounge, a special concierge service, and of course, other enhanced amenities, Mike. Definitely my kind of resort, man. <laughs> this breathless resort has two infinity pools, <laughs> a rooftop lounge that, and an open air lobby, where all the guests can enjoy every night with pool parties, with DJs, live music, and performances. I love the fashion shows and sunset socials on the rooftop terrace. Plus, the local night li nightlife of downtown Los Cabo, Cabo San Lucas, is within a small walking distance. Or you can just uh, look at the terrace and there it is, the marina next to all the nightlife. That's amazing. And for the foodie people, it's noteworthy six gourmet international cuisine options leave anyone literally breathless. The Fish Nets restaurant offers grill specialties and yes, it has a location in Envy written all over for its beautiful view of the marina. Kive offering an Eastern Mediterranean menu, the Spoon with international cuisine. Spumante is the top choice for, for the Italian uh, food lovers. Bites is a gastro lounge that offers delicious tapas and small plates. Wow. One of the main things about vacationing definitely is the, the restaurants and the food. And last but certainly not least, we have Ocote, an exclusive traditional Mexican restaurant which has a fusion of regional flavors and local ingredients with an innovative menu that changes daily. Members staying at the Excel Club can enjoy complimentary access to dine at Ocote as part of their exclusive Excel Club perks. Allure guests can experience the special dining experience at Ocote for the added cost of $40 per person. Wow, but what about Secrets Puerto Los Cabos? Well, Secrets Puerto Los Cabos is another top day resort in this beautiful destination within the exclusive community of Puerto Los Cabos, and it's only a 30 minute drive from Los Cabos International Airport. Secrets Puerto Los Cabos, you have to know that it's a a triple A for Diamond Resort that provides the ultimately adults only getaway. This resort offers 500 luxurious suites divided into 14 high luxury room categories. There is also available the option to book and upgrade to prefer club. 
where you can enjoy from a superior suite, access to an exclusive lounge, a special con uh, concierge service, and many other benefits. Well, there are countless options for enjoyment, such as bike rides to the marina, yoga, pilates, cooking, and massage classes as well. And of course, something that characterizes this property is the availability for guests and UVC members to play uh, round an amazing Los Cabos golf course, um, which has championship caliber. This course offers a unique 18 hole experience uh, of which nine holes were designated by Jack Nicklaus and the other nine holes were designated by Greg Norman, both legendary golf masters. Located right next to the resort, this course offers spectacular ocean views from every hole. Everything in Secrets Puerto Los Cabos is perfectly designed to ensure your enjoyment. The menu of its six restaurants includes vegetarian, gluten-free, sugar-free, organic dishes and more. You know, Mike, uh, you have the opportunity to choose between a restaurant of traditional Mexican cuisine such as El Patio or Panation specialties like Himitsu. There is also Oceana with, sea with seafood fa favorites. You know, I love Portofino with Italian specialties. Uh, also, one of the favorites from the members is the Seaside Grill, which is placidly located next uh, uh, next to the pool for those looking for a discreet and romantic option. And of course, uh, you also have the Market Cafe for those who prefer to try a little bit of everything. One thing that has to experience is that reservations are not required. But what about Dreams Los Cabos, Mike? Oh, well, that's, that's a great family resort. Amazing. This is located along the uh, sparkling Sea of Cortez. The Prague's like 25 minutes right from the airport. And it's surrounded by eight professional golf courses and also awarded as a triple A4 diamond resort. And uh, what's captivating about this property is that its architecture is like a hacienda type, like a Mexican hacienda that captures the beauty and elegance of the Mexican colonial design and features 260 fully renovated suites with uh, rain showers and private balconies with breathtaking views. Additionally, it is also available the Explorers Club uh, for children between 3 and 13 years old with fun and creative activities for them to also enjoy from an excellent vacation while their parents can have a nice moment in the fitness center or in the Dreams Spa by Pavonia. And this is one of those special Dreams Spas. Uh, definitely, you have to visit it. The resort has three swimming pools, including an infinity pool, a children's pool, an adults only pool, and two swim up bars. So definitely, Dreams Los Cowboy is one that you have to visit it. And that's why, guess what, Mike? We have a very special guest interview that we, uh, from Dreams Los Cabos. We have the honor to present uh, Mr. Florian Monier, who is the general manager from Dreams Los Cabos. Let's take a listen to the interview that we had with him uh, this morning, and hopefully our members enjoy it. Sounds like a winner. Well, we are very pleased to be with uh, Florian Monier. Uh, it's a pleasure to be with you, uh, Mr. Monier. Uh, he's a general manager of Dreams Los Cabos in the beautiful city of Los Cabos, San Jose del Cabo in Mexico. And we are just uh, launching, as you know, our first podcast, the first episode, uh, Cruising the UBC World. And it's an honor to have you with us uh, to speak a little more about your beautiful property and, of course, the attractions that we have at uh, Dreams Los Cabos. Hello, hello, everybody. Uh, first of all, thank you to invite me to, to that podcast uh, for UBC. Uh, I am now general manager of this property. I was born in, in Switzerland uh, and I did my, my childhood over there, my studies. Uh, and after that, uh, starting in 2002, I went to Dominican Republic and started to work with AM Resort uh, almost from the beginning. And uh, we know the company started in 2001. So I joined there, joined the, the team in La Romana. And after a few years, I started growing up inside the company in several hotels, uh, several destinations, uh, to arrive 
as for today here in Los Cabos, no? for Dreams Los Cabos. Oh, that's awesome. And uh, could you uh, please tell us uh, exactly in your opinion that the activities and the events that members and guests should not miss at the beautiful Dreams Los Cabos that you represent? So, for Dreams Los Cabos, um, inside the hotel, uh, we have, of course, the daily activities. And uh, the impressive things of Dreams Los Cabos is actually the, the Sea of Cortez, the beach, and it's like an aquarium for us. No? Every day you will be able to see whales, dolphins, uh, mantas, and a variety of, of uh, birds also all around the hotel, which is amazing. And we are in the middle of the two towns between San Lucas and San Jose. So we are pretty much in the middle of, of nothing. Uh, it's just a few hotels all around. So we have the opportunity to have a lot of, of animals and, uh, and, and see all around. Uh, in the morning, like in five or six o'clock in the morning, you will see the, the dolphin and the wave. Uh, and pretty much the entire year, you will be able to see whales, uh, which is not for everybody and every day you can see that so close to, to an hotel. No? After that, our great team of entertainment and I will say the entire team of Dream Los Cabos will assist you uh, during the day from the morning. Uh, we have a great opportunity for breakfast. Uh, our restaurant for breakfast is directly on the beach. The view is amazing. Uh, having a margarita or maybe a, a glass of champagne in the morning with nice omelette, uh, looking at the ocean, it's just priceless. No? After that, our pools, uh, we have three different pools, uh, and, and the main pool where we have all activities, music, entertainment, all, all day long for everybody. We have a lower pool for children and young children, and we have also an adult pool, more relaxed, more chill out, so if you want to just rest a little bit no, without all the music and, and entertainment. Well, that is awesome, Florian. Uh, it's really nice to have you in the show this morning. And uh, I'm pretty sure this information is going to be loved by our members. But I wanted to ask you, I mean, it is well said that love goes through the stomach, right? But can you tell us about the specialty restaurants available at Trimsus Cabos? And what would you recommend our members to try? And also, like out of all the restaurants that you direct, which is your favorite dish? So for our hotel, we have uh, five restaurants. Uh, we will start with the World Cafe, which is our main buffet, where we have breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Uh, like I told you, uh, in front of the ocean. This is amazing for, for having uh, on a buffet style uh, for families. Uh, and, and, and children also with a lot of variety of food and, and specialities from Mexico and all around the world. No? After we have our Seaside Grill restaurant. Our Seaside Grill restaurant open for breakfast a la carte, open for lunch a la carte, and also for dinner as a meat specialities. Even in the middle of our main pool, also we have ocean view. It's really great to be an open air restaurant and, and really nice at, at night. No? Our Oceana restaurant, which is close to our uh, adult pool, is more about seafood and fish specialties at night, a la carte also. The decor is amazing because the restaurant is in a garden close to the beach. So you have the sea breeze at night, it's, it's amazing. And uh, it's also an open air restaurant. We have our Portofino restaurant, which is Italian specialties, uh, from pasta to pizza, to different uh, kind of Italian specialties, cheese, wine, we have a wine cellar inside, which is amazing to have a private dinner also for your family or group, small group, it's not a huge uh, wine cellar, but you can be 10 person inside, so it's pretty good for families. We have also our Bordeaux restaurant, which is a French specialty restaurant, uh, with a, ma a major terrace, so you can have a dinner outside on the terrace or inside with air conditioning and uh, with French specialities. This is for our main restaurants. At night, we also open our buffet uh, on the terrace for Mexican specialty as barbecue, tacos and uh, more Mexican 
food, no? Uh, only on the terrace. So it's also another option for our guests uh, for the dinner. We have our Coco Cafe, which has just been remodeled uh, last month. Now it's a really huge Coco Cafe where we offer a variety of sandwich, paninis, ice creams, uh, waffles. We have also crepes, uh, small pastry, and uh, you can order whatever you would like. Now we have another deck in front, so you can spend more time here uh, sitting to, to our Coco Cafe, which is amazing. We have our preferred club, where we offer to our guests even a small buffet or also a la carte for the preferred uh, guest members. And for the restaurant that's all, we have three different bars. We have the lobby bar, which is really great to be uh, and have a drink at the lobby bar with the fire pit at night, the ocean view. We have the barefoot, which is on the beach, which we have uh, during the day. It's a regular bar with a small kitchen where we offer snacks and, and food around the beach and pool. And at night, we turn out that bar into a small chill out bar, beach bar, pretty much like uh, some kind of blue parrot in Cancun, no? a nice uh, chill out bar for the guests at night. And our sport bar, where we have all sports events, the transmission, and uh, karaoke night is going to be well also. Yes, love that. And this is for, for, for our hotel. My favorite one, uh, personally, uh, will be the Oceana. Because of the setup of the restaurant, I love seafood, I love fish, so it's, it's amazing. But all our restaurants have a re really, really an excellent quality. Uh, our chef tried to, to find different uh, ingredients and recipe to, to just not make a regular plate, you know, but to do, to do a really, really a great uh, food and, and discovery of, of several recipes you know, from all over the world, not only from the, the restaurant himself. Mm -hmm. Well, with those options, you know, so many options that you have available in that property, for sure, all our listeners must be craving, you know, for some <laughs> bite, to grab a bite over there or get a drink, for sure. Uh, you know, a very frequent question uh, about among our UVC members is what is the best season or months to visit Los Cabos? What would you recommend? Well, Los Cabos... It's a full year because every every month, every time, every season, we have something pretty similar but different. Maybe in winter will be a more uh, a colder season. So at night you will have to have a jacket because it gets a bit more frozen at night. We are really close to the desert, so at night you get a bit chillier, no? But during the entire year you can come and it's just Amazing. The whales are pretty much from September to April, the real high season of, uh, of whale seeing. So it's not a necessary a better month to come. Just during the winter, it's a bit chiller than summer. Very nice. Now let me ask you, um, what makes Dreams Los Cabos different from the rest of the hotels in the chain? I mean, we know we are, we, we have, but I, I've been in many of the hotels or most of them, and I see that each one has its own personality. It's, each one has like a very, very nice, which, which is the personality of Dreams Los Cabos? Of Dreams Los Cabos, of course our team. This is the difference, no, between our hotel. And okay. what is the difference from uh, our property? This property have really an, uh, an history. It's not a brand new hotel. It's an hotel with 20 years old of uh, operation. We have a really nice uh, kind of uh, hacienda style. So it is really, really beautiful. Uh, at night, it's amazing. Uh, it's still a small hotel, so it's not too crowded. It's not too huge. Uh, we have 300 rooms, so it's it's nice uh, U shape. Uh, for the major rooms, all our rooms look at the ocean. So we have any garden view, like you will not see nothing. And uh, the sunshine in the morning is just amazing. We don't have maybe the same sunset like in Puerto Vallarta or uh, in Huatulco, 
but in the morning, it's just amazing to see some uh, dolphin on the waves, to see the, the, the waves arriving. It's just gorgeous. And of course, our staff uh, is well trained, it's having a lot of patience. It does is the staff do our job really, really in a great, great way. They're always smiling, even if we have our face mask now. But you see when people are smiling, even with the face mask. So it's 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 amazing to, to be part of that and uh, to receive our members every day here and, and to, to follow the vacation, you know, making memories for, for all of them. Hashtag UBC memories, <laughs> for sure. For yes. sure. <laughs> Thank you so much, Florian. Uh, we really appreciate that you took the time to share with our listeners in this first episode of this uh, podcast, Cruising the UBC World, uh, a little about this gorgeous property, Dreams Los Cabos Resort and Spa. Thank you so much. That was Thank very you. interesting, Mike. I don't know what do you think, but definitely to have that... I, uh, the first, you know, uh, on first place, the uh, the sounds and information from a GM uh, from a property, it's invaluable. So I really like, you know, the fact that, that we can hear from him all this information. But guess what? We have also another uh, guest uh, that is a very important uh, person for you from UBC in Los Cabos. Uh, we have an interview with Mauricio Borda, who is a marketing manager for UBC there. Yeah, I think you met him before, right? Yeah, he's a great guy, uh, amazing, and uh, he's been with us for a long time. So bring it on. All right, so we are very happy and delighted to continue with this first episode of this uh, first podcast of Unlimited Vacation Club, Cruising the UBC World. And we have a special guest with us, Mauricio Borda. Mauricio Borda is a regional marketing manager of Los Cabos for Unlimited Vacation Club. He's an expert and he knows very well this region and area. Thank you so much for uh, being with us and joining this first podcast with us. Hello, how are you? Good afternoon to everybody. Thank you for the invitation. Well, thank you so much for, uh, for for being here with us. And we have noticed, you know, that uh, Red Les Cabos and Lucas is in the heart of Los Cabos nightlife. It's, you know, everyone talks about it. That's why this resort is so popular among our UBC members. What do you consider uh, to be the most uh, sea sports in town for those looking for a party in this region, in this city? Uh, Charlie, yeah, as, as you mentioned it, uh, uh, Bredes is in the heart of Cabo and you have closer the most uh, famous bar that is Cabo Guabo. You have Mandala, you have La Vaquita, but the, the nice part of there, there is that you can walk in the marina to see all the bars, to see all the people is walking with his streets and a small town. So you can make there uh, some shopping also. And you have all there, the night the nightclub, everywhere, super safe, no, no problems, no, so... There, but the, the most important bar, we have Cabo Guabo close to Prentice, no? Awesome. Mauricio, it's awesome to have you on the show. Welcome. Uh, this is many shows. <laughs> and I wanted to ask you, I mean, we've already mentioned the arch, the underwater uh, sand falls, the white shark tours, and the unmissable golf in Los Cabos. But is there any other activity that our members should, be, should venture to do when they come? I mean, is there anything else that uh, it, it feels like, a, or it has a new feeling as an activity other than the typical uh, things to do? I think that the most important here is the fishing. We have the best aquarium in the world. We have here okay, people from all around the world to come just to fishing, no? So the fishing it could be another really nice part just to complete all what you're telling me, Mike, no? That, that will complete all the, the essence of Cabo, no? Awesome. That's awesome. So this is a big place for fishing. Are there any important tournaments? We have one big tournament that it's Beast Beast. This is in uh, every October, 17th of October. The, the, the prices are like $5 million. Just to get there is $50,000 just to, to be part of that tournament. So it's amazing. It's three days, all days. When they start up, all, all the boats going out from the bay, it's amazing. So. I recommend you to come for sure. Wow, that sounds incredible. You already mentioned, Mauricio, some of the, of the best spots to, uh, to visit in Los Cabos, but in your experience, 
or according to what you've heard from our UBC members, what do you consider is the main attraction that Los Cabos holds? The main attraction is the, uh, the weather. No? Here the weather is amazing. We have seven, eight months, like uh, we have three months that you, you use jacket, you wear jackets in the night, in the day, the sunshine, amazing. But it's uh, the weather, as we mentioned, the fishing and the golf here is the, the most three uh, amazing things no, that you should come to see. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Awesome. Now, let me ask you this. I mean, La Paz is another like magic town in the Baja. So, uh, and it's very, it's worth visiting. What activities and places do you recommend our members to visit there around La Paz area and stuff? To go to La Paz, it, it, La Paz is an amazing place. And in, on the way to La Paz, it's a, it's a small town that it's Todos Santos. That is where, uh, where is the Hotel California. We have Cerritos, a small beach there that for surfing is amazing. And when you get to La Paz, it's a Balandra. That is one of the amazing beaches there and Tecolote. And there you have an, in, the, in the Malecon, amazing place to walk and everything. Some dunes also to go, that is really nice to be there. So it's amazing, it's like one hour, 45 minutes from here to, from Cabo to get there. So I recommend you to go also. Awesome. I definitely would like to do that. <laughs> and, you know, to drive around that area. You know, for sure members just could, uh, you know, rent a car and, you know, experiment. <laughs> The beauty of Los Cabos. Now, let me ask you something, uh, you know, to end the, the interview. Uh, everyone talks about Secrets Puerto Los Cabos. Everyone loves it. <laughs> so, would you please describe why Secrets Puerto Los Cabos is one of the best resorts in the peninsula of Baja? It's one of the best resorts in the Pacific of AM Resorts. It's, a, it's a, the biggest one and you are uh, far away from the town. You have the golf course inside. 500 rooms, there is a, an amazing service, we have the seven restaurants and you're in a quiet from adult uh, adult family but adult relaxed and no noise so I recommend you to go to come for sure. Wow, beautiful. For sure we will be there soon, right Mike? Oh, absolutely. Can't wait to... We wait for you here guys. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we gotta go there. So we invite our members to go there and remember we have three beautiful resorts in the area. Thank you so much, uh, Mauricio, for joining this first episode of your first podcast uh, called Cruising the UBC World. Thank you so much and we'll see Thank you, you next guys. time. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you, Mauricio. Awesome, and one of the sections that we are starting in our blog and everywhere, it's this new section called UVC Hawks. Yes. Hawks, which you will love, okay? Don't you, Charlie? Yes, I think our members are going to enjoy all these different tricks and, and tips that, you know, uh, provide them, you know, different insight from experts of this subject, and definitely you're one of you have to be, you know, this person that, that definitely will share all these insights with our members. I know you're the one. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to be publishing hacks and, you know, the best way to use your membership. And uh, this is these are tips to take advantage of Premier Nights, for example. Well, our Unlimited Vacation Club members continuously ask about the Premier Nights. They want to know more information about it. So let's talk to, about it, uh, uh, Mike. Okay, Premier Nights are a benefit acquired by UBC members in which a certificate is granted, depending on the type of membership, obviously, with free nights of stay for two adults at AM Resorts Hotels, with the opportunity to pay the cost of the stay of extra guests when checking in. So use this hack as much as you can. In order to make use of these nights, it is important to keep in mind their expiration date as they expire depending on the date you became a member and the type of membership you purchased. If you have Choices or Choices Plus membership, your Premier Nights will expire in two years from the date of the contract activation. If you have an Impression, Impression Black membership, they will expire in 10 years from the day you acquire the membership. And for all the other memberships, the Premier Nights expire seven years from contract activation date. Exactly. And members will receive a notification by email when the nights are due to expire at least one month before the expiration date. It is important to pay attention to the spam folder, as sometimes emails might deliver to these folders. Premier nights can be used and booked 
on the same day they expire by making a reservation within 60 days of arrival at the resort. The list of one-for-one one and two-for-one hotels is available on our website, unlimitedvacationclub.com. Premier nights can only be used in standard rooms and for Gold Plus members and above in the resort's most standard preferred club category. Premier nights cannot be used if you wish to book a vacation with the lots rooms. They can be combined with unlimited nights as well as you with your VIP certificate. Each member has in their contract a page called Premier Certificate, which contains all the details. We want to take this opportunity to uh, let know all our Limited Vacation Club listeners that this uh, episode, this first episode and the first season of Cruising the UBC World, you can actually interact with us. So remember to contact us uh, via inbox at social media at unlimitedvc.com and you can uh, let us know about the questions that you have, all the information that you want that we share throughout this podcast. So let us know and we can read your messages and your questions next time. Right, Mike? Of course. We like to hear from you and uh, every comment is going to be welcome and uh, help us to a better job every time. So there is something very special about traveling and ov obviously we want to share with our members uh, this inspiration. We want you to be inspired to travel. As you know, we're recovering from these hard times little by little, step by step. We want to share something that, you know, uh, makes you think about your next trip. So we introduce this section called the traveling quote of the episode. Right, Charlie. So from the way, the way we have described the beauty and exciting experiences that Los Cabos brings, it is no lie that it is a place worth adding to your list of upcoming travel destinations. And that is why we want to introduce you to the uh, phrase of this episode. Listen, every adventure begins with a yes. So do not hesitate and dare to say yes to Los Cabos. Remember to follow us on our official social uh, networks. On Facebook, you can find us as UVC Dash Unlimited Vacation Club, on Instagram at Unlimited Vacation Club, and in Twitter as Unlimited VC. Remember that we have just included also our profiles of TikTok. You can uh, also join us at Pinterest, YouTube, and of course the Unlimited Vacation Club blog, official blog. Thank you for joining us in this episode of Cruising the UBC World featuring Los Cabos. These uh, opinions expressed here in this podcast are the sole responsibility of the person providing them and do not necessarily reflect the official position of UBC on its constituent entities. So thank you, Mike, for joining us in this podcast and we'll hear you in the next one. Thank you, Charlie, and thank, thank you, everybody. Thank all the audience. I will hear you next time. <laughs>